Hallelujah. Silo 2023. Redeemed to flourish in hard times. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hand before the Lord this morning. And let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's glorify his holy name. The God of Silo. The one that has been with us right from day one. Let's glorify his holy name. Today is day three. Let's give him praise the day of our rising. Let's glorify his holy name. Let's magnify his holy name. The Lord God of heaven who got here before we were here. Jesus, we glorify your name this morning. Father, we magnify your name this morning. Let's thank him for all he has been doing for us right from the opening night. The power of his word that is locating every one of us. His mighty hand that is meeting all needs. His blessing that is answering upon the life of every one of us. Let's thank him this morning. Let's worship him this morning. He deserves our thanksgiving. He expects our thanksgiving. Let's give it to him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Because appreciation for one is application for more. Jesus, we glorify your name this morning. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank you for all you have been doing for us on this great mountain of encounter. Jesus, there is none like unto you. Father, there is none like unto you. Another day has come. Another season of blessing. Another hour of your visitation. Jesus Christ of heaven, we give you praise. Another hour of your encounter. Father, we thank you. Thank him this morning. Thank him this morning. Now set your expectation in place. What do you expect from the Lord this morning in this Shiloh pr prayer hour? Let's place our expectation before the Almighty. Today is a brand new day. Brand new grace. Brand new function. Brand new hall. Let it, let's, let's place our expectation before him this morning. Father, Lord, we place our expectation before you this morning. Wherever we are gathered at Shiloh 2023, you are meeting the need of everyone in this Shiloh prayer hour this morning. Father, Lord God of heaven, you are reaching out to each one of us. You are meeting each one at the point of his or her need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every issue we place before you this morning will be expressly answered in the name of Jesus Christ. You have asked us to seek you early and we shall find you. We are here early this morning. Every one of you, of us, is finding you in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, the Lord God of heaven is reaching out to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your amen show that you are expecting this visitation this morning. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. Please put those hands together for him as we receive the choir this morning.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. 
Would you welcome yourself into his presence this morning, everyone, by thanking him. Give him thanks for the second Shiloh prayer hour, for the blessings that await you out here. Let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise. Let's be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. And all the people gather together in the morning in the temple for to hear him. You will hear him this morning. Yeah. Speak to us, Jesus. And set us on the prayer altar with fire. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated, please. God's blessings does not trade the cries of people. It doesn't follow the conveniences of people. God's blessings trail the believer's obedience. You are to my voice and observe to do what I command you all these blessings will come to you and overtake you. Obedience is God's mystery behind absolute fulfillment in the race of life. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Job 36 and verse 11. Blessings preserved from destruction. Destroy him not. Destroy it not because there's a blessing in it. Blessing. Blessing. Isaiah 65 and verse 8. Destroy it not, there's a blessing here. So his blessings make rich and add no sorrow. The good news this morning is that his commandments are not grievous. First John 5 3, it is this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. They are within our compliance if we are interested. God tempts no man with evil. 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 So if we are interested, his commandments are within our convenience our capacity to comply is within our capacity to comply. I lay before you life and death. Make your choice. If you obey me, the blessings will follow you. You disregard my commandments, the other side follows. So it's a choice to make. His commandments are not grievous. God tempts no man with evil. God tempts no man with evil. There is no temptation that has come your way, but such as come unto man, and God is faithful. He will not suffer us to be tempted beyond what we are able. And the same temptation will provide the way of escape that we may be able to bear it. Every man is tempted when he's drawn of his own lust 
And when loss is conceived, it brings forth sin. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. So it's not about God and uh, what about how. No, it's a choice. Obedience is principally a choice. Not all that have seen the light are walking in the light. They choose not to walk in it. Stand in the way and say and ask for the old path. We will not walk in it. Here are the sound of the trumpet. We will not walk in it. We will not obey them. It's the idea for I'll bring evil upon them. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16, 17 and 18. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, where, uh, uh, and walk in the, therein, and you shall find rest for your soul. But he said, we will not walk therein. It's our choice, we won't walk therein. And I said, watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. And so what happens? Therefore, hear ye, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among you, among them. He said, um, here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon these people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. So it's a thing you make a choice to comply or disalign. It's not anybody making that choice for you. Praise God. So we are in for something this morning. Your commandments are not grievous. So I would advise that to make a list of things you don't want to go with anymore. Beginning from your spiritual state. What are the things punctuating my spiritual tires? What are the things standing between me and God? <laughs> it's de deliver yourself, O oh, captive daughter of Zion. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Shake your feet from the dust. O captive daughter of Zion. Isaiah 52 and verse 1 and 2. So we have a job to do. He said, verse 1 please. Awake. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth, there shall no more come in into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. He says, shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. So it's a thing to make a choice on. I'm leaving Shiloh and dropping the following baggages. One, two, three, four. You want to pray, you just lumber. Straight. After one minute, you are finished. So, <laughs> you want to read the Bible, it's like you are going through block walls or brick walls. Nothing is flowing. Jesus, what is wrong with me? What's happening to me? Nobody's going to shake your feet from the doors. You shake it. <laughs> Nobody can wake up on your behalf. You wake up by yourself. Amen. That I'm awake does not mean that you are awake. And that you are awake does not mean that I'm awake. So make a choice to be awake. Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead. A sleeping state is a deadly state. And Christ shall give the light. Rise to your feet this morning. Rise to your feet this morning. His commandments are not grievous. To toy with it is to begin to invoke evil without knowing. Lord, help me to delight myself in your commandments. Choose it this day whom you shall serve. By redemption, I've been empowered to walk in the newness of life. Lord, help me 
to walk out of everything that defies, to walk out of everything that does not add value, everything that does not edify, I want to remain on your side for life. Jesus was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. We are for God who has highly exalted him. Give him a name above every name. Obedience the time is where we find ourselves tomorrow. And grace me afresh. To take delight in obeying your instructions as laid out in scriptures. I don't want to toy with my destiny. I don't want to sell off my birthright like Esau. Help me, Jesus. Let's take help from God right now. He said, I believe. Help down my own belief. I believe. Help down my own belief. We can't do this in the energy of the flesh. How shall we do what God says? By believing him. Believe him for grace. Believe him for grace. It's not where you are that determines how you live. It's your choice. They couldn't find anything I'm missing, Daniel. Help me to stand by this choice. I believe you for grace. To live a life that pleases you through the lightsome obedience to your commandments. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Now go before the Lord and like Hannah, pour your soul out on issues of concern to you. We are on this the next 25 minutes. Let's go. You can take a position that's convenient for prayers that will keep you alive on the prayer altar and have your journals with you. Pray the prayer that must have a voice in response. The Lord answered him by a voice. I'm not praying to storage. I'm praying, praying to a God that hears and answers prayers. I'm praying to a God that hears and answers prayers. I'm praying to a God that hears and answers prayers. Let's go before the Lord. Just as I am with our one plea. O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Pray, answer expectant prayer. Don't matter words. Be specific on the issues you are presenting before the Most High God. Most times we need to be delivered from ourselves. Deliver me from myself. What I know will never change me. It's what I do with what I know that does. What you know will never change you. What to do with what you know is what matters. Someone is calling on God. If it's we are with us spiritually, it will be with us everywhere. Mind your spiritual needs at this time. 
mind your spiritual needs at this time. That's the control room of our life. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be otherwise minded is death. If it's well with me spiritually, it shall be well with me everywhere. I must live here with a healthy spiritual life, healthy spiritual life. And I receive grace to sustain it. A healthy spiritual life. Arredo se clarialo, berededos. E shiangelawa, parandes. You mustn't turn your back on me, oh God. I can't afford it. It's a luxury too costly. I'm not hopping between two opinions again. You are my strong tower. I refuse to make myself vulnerable to the voice of the wicked. Your spiritual well-being is the platform for your all-round well-being. You see God first and his righteousness, and all these things are added, they are added, they are added, they are added, they are added. God is turning our captivities around this morning. Somebody's praying prayer that must be answered. Pray the will of God, engage this world to drive your desires. He has said he will perfect all things that concerns you and me. We serve the God of perfection. Perfect this area of my life today. Perfect that area of my life today. We serve a God of perfection. He's coming to perfect all things that concerns us. Perfect my spiritual life today. Perfect my family life today. Perfect all that concerns me today.
Somebody still praying. Answer expectant prayer. Moses called on God, he answered him by a voice.
Shall we rise to our feet? Let's begin to give God thanks, everyone. Begin to give God thanks, everyone. Thank you for answer prayers if you got answers. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Mountain has been a month, Shiloh has been a mountain of voices. No one here will miss the voice of God that will turn them to a wonder in their world. <laughs> Stay on guard spiritually. God is on this ground and in all view centers to deliver your packet to you in full. <laughs> I'd like you to pray this prayer before we go. Now listen. Let no man say when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God. James 1, 13 to 15. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempts he any man. But every man is tempted when he's drawn of his own lust. I like us to pray a prayer of self-deliverance. And when that loss is not checked out, it brings for sin. When it, you don't stop it, it brings for death. Everyone is tempted not by the devil when he's drawn of his own lust. Lord, deliver me from me. How many want to pray that prayer? Deliver me from me. Go ahead and pray. Deliver me from me. Deliver me from me. Nothing must get me off the line with you. Deliver me from me. He said, awake. Put on strength. O captive daughter of Zion, shake thy feet from the dust. Deliver me from me. Let me live here a man and a woman set free from every personal encumbrance. Deliver me from me. In Jesus' name. Now, you know why this is so important? Paul the apostle was warned of Jesus. He saw Jesus in a vision. Get thee out of this city now. Because they will not hear you. They will not take your testimony. He says, excuse me, can I explain? So, at that time, this is the prayer he needed. Deliver me from me. And so he went out. And that was the beginning of his ordeal. Deliver me from me. Someone said to me years ago, he said, but I've given my words. I said, are your words immutable? Deliver me from me. Deliver me from me. In the name of Jesus, every self-captive is declared delivered. Every self-captive of sin is declared delivered. self-captive of ignoring the word of God that he speaks to them directly is hereby delivered. Yeah. Everyone following his views outside God's instructions is hereby delivered. Yeah. Whatever the enemy has put to destroy any destiny here is shattered today. Yeah. Is shattered today. We have prayed to a prayer answering God. Let's celebrate him for answers to prayers. I prayed and I prayed, Lord Jesus answered me. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed and I prayed, Lord Jesus answered me. It is where we try so. I prayed and I prayed.
A word came from Eli to Hannah, and that settled it. Everything you are presented before the Lord this morning, He has granted them to you. So cheer up and let not your continent be any more, sir. Your miracle children are delivered. Your spiritual breakthrough is settled. Your breakthrough and divorce is settled. Your family life is settled. Your marital destiny is settled. Your crave for healing health and wholeness is settled. There is no anti-redemptive baggage that followed you here that will follow you back home. Everyone across the nations that is at Shiloh today, in the name of Jesus, you will mark today as a day to be much remembered. I made the hour of visitation this morning be your own hour. May you enjoy diverse encounters at specialized classes. And I decree that tonight will be your night of celebration. God will turn your devastation to celebration. It will turn your trials to testimonies. Stay tuned spiritually. Something unusual is awaiting you. <laughs> Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. And this is the confidence that we have that when we have asked for anything according to His will, he heareth us. Thank him because he has heard. Everybody, thank him. He has heard. He has heard me. He has heard me. He has answered me. Thank him from the depth of your heart. He has heard me. He has answered me. I thank you because you hear me always. Always. Not occasionally, not sometimes. He has heard you even this morning. Give him the glory. Blessed be his name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. Congratulations. Congratulations. God has heard you again this morning. The hour of visitation commences at 7.15. Please relax yourself. Refresh yourself on the things that God has made known to you. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. The goodness of the Lord and fellowship. Let's go, please. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Shiloh 2023. And I'm redeemed to flourish in hard times. God bless you. Share your love with your neighbor while we prepare for the hour of visitation.